Good morning, everyone. <laughs> oh. All right, I have some things to do before we leave the park. I have to actually make sure my solar panels are secure, um, get some water, and take a shower. So yeah, let's do that. All right. <laughs> Shower, amazing. All right, now it's time for some water. Yay, all done. Now it's time for a little bit of makeup. Most definitely. You don't need it. Ta-da! All done. <laughs> the magic of video. Alright, so I'm gonna find our destination because it is now 11.43. So we have about 15 minutes to get out of here. That'd be 17 minutes, but no. <laughs> Anywho, yeah. 17 minutes to get out of here. Um, yep, so I'm gonna find our next destination. I'll see y'all in a minute. Alright, back on the road. Here we go. Well, I just fueled up, dyed my hair, uh, lightened a little bit for summer, but um, gas was 215 on Gas Buddy, awesome. And um, we're getting on the road, we're leaving the DC Baltimore area and going a little further up north in Maryland. So um, yeah, I had to, there are a lot of tolls here in this area, so I had to put no tolls. And it's going to take me about 30 minutes longer, but that's okay. I'd rather not deal with the, paying the tolls and stuff because they can get pretty expensive. So, I'll see you in a minute.
away from Aberdeen and 171 miles away from New York City. How far away? 171 miles. That's it? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I lied. That's what I was saying. <laughs> but anyways, um, we have to be getting off in about 10 miles because we're trying to, like I said, um, go around tolls. We don't want any tolls because they think it's expensive up here. Um, so I'm going to be taking 155 to go around the toll, but it's 10 miles up the road. Are you done stuffing your, your face? No, never. <laughs> Then turn before. left onto Maryland 155 West. This is the last exit before the toll. And this goes around the toll. And the toll could be six to eight dollars. That's I mean if it was cheaper, like two bucks or three bucks, I'd probably just go keep on going straight. But yeah, if I was to go through every toll, it'd get pretty expensive. So I'm going to skip. Turn this. left onto Maryland 155 West. Signs for church bill. There's also a state park this way too. Continue on Maryland 155 West for three miles. Oh my god, cows! Moo! <laughs> I love it. Huh? Were you not recording? Yes, I was recording. It's just I had to stop, pause it. Oh, that's awesome, cows. I was hoping I got to see cows. I was like, all this farmland and no cows. What's going on here? That was awesome. <laughs> Yay, cows! Electric plant? Yeah, and this is the bridge that I couldn't walk across. Oh, they don't let you walk across it? Nope. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that huge ass lake out there. Yeah, it's really fucking nice. Um, there's some lady had to. Oh, to, you had to hitchhike across? Yeah, which worked out really well. It's like some lady just like. US1 North, US222 North, then turn left onto US1 North. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. I'm just going to this. Over 10 tons. Okay. Well, this In is. In a quarter mile, a... turn left onto Maryland 222 South. What is this? Welcome, Welcome to Pond Recreational. Oh, area. awesome. You, We can have like lunch and <laughs> parking only. No, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I think lunch and then maybe take a stroll. Yeah, I could use some footage, you know? Yeah. Awesome. I'm definitely bringing my backpack. Awesome. But I need to smoke a pipe right now. That is an absolute necessity right now. Um, I want you to go ahead and clarify when you say pipe, you mean tobacco? That's that's all I have. 
If I had the other stuff, I wouldn't be saying I gotta smoke a pipe. Be like, I can smoke some pot. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're gonna get situated and we'll be back. Mmm, looks good, doesn't it? It is a cream cheese pasta with albacore tuna. It's really, really good. Oh yeah, and basil and some other spices. Mm. So good. Got my food and my water and we're gonna go to the picnic table and eat. So, I'll see y'all when we get done. Who's the rock climber? Moo Moo is the rock climber. Yes, you is. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go check out what's on the path and go down to the lake. So, come on, let's go. Let's go see what's happening. Here's the information. We're up here in the right hand corner. And there's Funk's Pond. So, it's a short little walk. Who is the monster? <laughs> Good dog. Oh my god, look at all the- oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Glad I got boots on. Oops, sorry, Moo Moo, privacy. Well, Sunny just disappeared into the woods and Chris is after him, so... We're waiting here. I'm watching his backpack real quick. Good thing you're a good dog and you listen. Yeah, she was off her leash too, but she didn't run off like, I think he heard something and just hit it into the woods, so. Sunny! He went deep into the woods. I can barely hear Chris calling him anymore. Don't get lost! been a little over 10 minutes and we're still waiting on him. Hopefully everything's okay. Um, I hate to walk into the woods to go after them, but I guess we can. Um, I'm just going to stay here a little bit longer. Hopefully they show back up. <laughs> right? Alright, well, it's been 15 minutes. Still no Sunny and Chris. Um, I just don't think it's a smart idea to walk into the woods. Oh, Lord. I probably wouldn't have chased that. If you would have ran into the woods like that, I definitely would not chase you into the woods. It's just, I hope he didn't lose his bearings. Well, I hear something. Hello? Well, I heard a dog, like, barking, but I don't know if that, that didn't sound like Sunny. That sounded like Sunny. Maybe there was another dog in the woods or something he chased after? I'm not sure. Hello? Chris? Hello? Okay. I was worried. I thought you might have got turned around and lost. I can't get lost. Trust me, people can get lost. It happens to the best of us. I can't get lost. I have amazing tracking skills. Did you find him? Yeah. You got him? Oh, awesome. What was he chasing? I don't know, but I walked up on a sleeping deer when I was trying to find him. Oh, you walked up on a sleeping deer? Yeah. What happened? It got up and <laughs> I heard it. Was that him barking? No. There was another dog in there? I don't know what the fuck was uh, squealing or whatever. I like, I went straight back that way. Uh-huh. I like, I heard something rustle off that way. Right. So I followed it. And like, whatever, I like crossed a little creek, went up this embankment. Uh, there's uh, a creek? Up, yeah. Oh, so he crossed the creek? No. Oh. He was over here on this side. On, I, I like literally just found it a few seconds ago. 
Set me on a wild goose chase. Okay, maybe we can put him on it. <laughs> Bad boy! Don't do that. I was I was I was gonna come in, I was like, no, it's probably better I just stay with the pack. And plus I don't think I could see me throwing that thing on my back and carrying it through the woods. <laughs> I don't think I can see you going through the woods. I can go through the woods. We it's, hike. It's like thick it's, brush. Yeah. I could go through there, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> well, everything turned out okay. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yay. So Chris seems to think that that was a coyote that was kind of doing the yelping to lure Sunny in there because that way, like, the pack could attack. <laughs> but who knows? There was some yelping, so possible. All right. Well, I'll see you when we get down to the lake. Railroad track. Uh, there's some people over there fishing. Alright, well, I don't know if you can see the lake over there, but... Oh, there's a little spot over there. Yeah. Alright, come on, y'all. Does it say no trespassing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, how do they expect them to get to the recreational area? This, this side of whatever is not the recreational area. Oh, it's not? Okay. Oh, it's just back there in the woods is the recreational area? Okay. Well, I'm still going to go up here and look real quick. We made it all this way, so I do want to see it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> well, that's pretty big. Well, the shore is kind of nasty and littered. A lot of wood and stuff. Danger. Red beacons mean gates are open. All right, not as interesting as I thought it would be, but it's still something to look at. So we're going to go ahead and head back. See you at the RV. There's the ravine he had to cross. But yeah, it's like way back there. It was probably. Yeah, back in the woods. Bit okay. We were up around that curve at the top of that hill. Right. Ugh. He said. And I went up over there somewhere. <laughs> and like... Chasing after Sunny. <laughs> All right, well, we made it back to the RV. That was actually a little harder of a hike than I thought it would be. <sighs> Okie dokie. Well, this is definitely a nice break from the road, but it's time to get back on the road. So, let's go. Alright, we're headed to Flying Jays. <laughs> Alright, well, we made it to Flying Jays. So I whip around the corner and throw him out of his seat. <laughs> Hold on for your life. Yay, flying jet. You've arrived. Thank you, Beverly. RV parking only. No bobtail or cars. Um, there's a, that's a car. I'm going to need you to move. Thank you very much. Awesome. We're here. All right. This is having a, a hard time at the door. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so 
Um, I guess I'll see y'all in a little while. <laughs> Alright, well, we just got something to eat from this Flying J. I always like to spend a little bit of money if I'm going to be staying somewhere. Uh, we're probably going to stay here the night. Um, Chris and Sunny just went to go explore a little bit just to see what's around. And um, I have to edit a video, so... I'm going to end this video here so I can get it edited and uploaded for y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye for now.